Hello and welcome to another Wikidot Winner 1 video. Today I'm going to show you how to edit your theme if you've been given some custom CSS on the community. So if there's a small problem that you've got with your site and someone produces, gives you some CSS to fix it, um, this is how you add it to your website. So we'll call this editing your theme. Now the page that you normally go to for editing a theme is admin themes. This could be quite often with an older Wikidot site, you'll have it in your site manager. Um, in a future video, we'll go through how to move it to a page because then you have a full history of changes. And if you mess anything up, you can just revert it. Um, but for now, we'll assume that you use a template, like the default template that we use for this, um, which already has the theme um, pointing to a Wikidot page. You'll also find it from admin, change theme up here. Now, what I'm going to do here is I've already got uh, some CSS changes on my clipboard, so I'll just delete this, and what we want to do is we just want this CSS code box here. So just quickly, I'll put that back. I'm deleting the include lines and the div lines. And now I just have my two code tags and an import which is importing the existing theme, which you see here, the blue colors, or is it the gray colors, sorry, up here. Now, if I'm adding more CSS, I want to add underneath the import statement. And just say I was given this code here. Now, what this will do is it will change how my links work. I'll just show you quickly what they do at the moment. If I go to the main page, when I hover over that, you see a underline, and that's it. What I've done here is underneath the import, I've added in the code that just say someone on the Wikidot community gave you. Um, I've added that there. Now all I need to do is save the page. And there it is. And in your history, you can see if I compare versions, that I deleted that code and added the new stuff. And if there was a problem with that, all I need to do is revert to the existing version. Now I'll show you what's different about this. You can see what it's like there. If I now refresh the page, it will have a background and a border around it. There. That was a change that I implemented. So if someone on the Wikidot community gives you some code to add to your CSS, that is how you add it. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.